Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create Yellow V8 model, which can detect fire on images or videos. And probably the most important step is data preparation. A couple years ago, I would have to label images by myself. Thanks to the great community, we have a lot of ready-to-go solutions. For example, RoboFlow. I found their very cool data set, which consists of two and a half thousand of images and they already have bounding boxes drawn on them. All I have to do is click download and choose the architecture. Today, of course, it's YOLO V8, but it also supports other configurations. Continue, it generated code snippet with unique API key. I'm going to do the training process in Collapse, so let's copy and paste it to Google Colab. I have already prepared my script. I'm using Google Colab because they offer free GPU time for every user. Okay, I have to install two additional libraries, Ultralytics and RoboFlow. If you prepare data by yourself, uh, you probably don't need this. I did it earlier, so it's already installed. Some imports. And this snippet is based from RoboFlow. Now we can trade the network. Exclamation mark turns the command line mode. We have to set mode for train, task for detect, load our model archi architecture. In this example, I'm using small model. I believe there is also nano model, medium model and large model. Path for the data and number of epochs. For the sake of this video, I will make only one epoch, but behind the scenes, I trained my model on 80 epochs. It took about 40 minutes with Google GPU acceleration. This is for image size. Plots true will create, uh, of course, plots in final directory, training plots. There we have some information about uh, the shapes of, of inputs, of layers, where end result was saved in this path. With this line, I can check uh, training plots, uh, but of course I should change the path. And these uh, plots are trash because I did only one epoch on this training. If you make real training, these plots are very, very important because, because they enable you to see if further training even makes sense. But it's topic probably for another video, so let's go on. The last line you would probably want to do validation for your model and that's it it's pretty amazing that we can train network on custom data with five maybe ten lines of code your model should be saved here depends on how many training you did and by default it's called best.pt you can download it here i'm not doing it because i already did i downloaded my 80 epochs model so let's switch to my local Visual Studio code. This code is even simpler. First load the model and then predict. Conf argument is the threshold. Now it's set for 60%. Let's start with some static images and change show to save. Okay, my bad. Result saved in this path. Runs. Detect predict. Model has 68% of confidence that this is fire. Not bad, but also not good. You can ask why uh, not 99% of confidence. There are three main problems. Most important data set consists of images with forest fire, with industrial fires. This photo looks like from studio because of its perfect black uh, background. Next issue is training time. It should be much, much longer. And last issue, the architecture. I choose the small one because it's faster than, than the big one, but has usually has worse performance. Look at the second picture. There is no fire on this picture. So I'm checking for some false positives boxes and it's fine. Yellow didn't detect any fire on this image. If the forest was in the autumn season where the leaves are red and yellow, 
it would probably fail. But let's proceed to the, to the purpose of this video, real-time fire recognition. I'm using my built-in camera, so by default it's source zero. And let's go. Okay, my bad. If I want to see it in real time, we need flag show true. And let's remove this save true because I don't want to save it. For one hour of work, I think it's pretty cool. First step to improve this model accuracy is to retrain it on much bigger data set. It would create better generalization, in simply terms, better performance. Thanks for watching and see you soon.